All right, in your manual, you will have your daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly intervals for your maintenance. On your daily, you're gonna have all your pump oil, so your vacuum pump oil, your pressure pump oil, make sure that you visually check to see that the sight glasses have oil in them. Your uh, inlet filter, this is your inlet filter here. There are five filters on the unit. The inline strainer filter here, make sure that you empty this basket after every job. I'll show you where the other filters are in the waste tank. But one of the monthly filters is going to be the outlet filter on the front of the machine. You'll want to take a one inch box ratchet, loosen that up, remove it. I've pre-loosened it and make sure that you remove all the debris from the actual metal mesh strainer filter. This is reusable. Uh, you can uh, blow out some of the particles with compressed air, but then just run clear water over it. Make sure it's completely clear and reinstall it. There is a rubber gasket, which means don't over tighten. Just snug that down. There is a Y strainer just behind the water inlet. That Y strainer has a filter in it that you'll remove and check monthly also. All right, we're going to show you where your waste basket is, your strainer basket, and your blower inlet filter in your waste tank. Now, for training purposes, obviously this is not installed in the vehicle. Release your two straps on either side of your waste tank lid. You have your strainer basket, which you're going to want to check at the end of the day and clean out. Insert back in. And then your blower filter, your inlet blower filter is vital to the vacuum extraction capability of the machine. There's one filter in here, be careful when you take it off. Make sure that you unscrew that. Uh, make sure that you have some type of lubricant on the threads. Take this over and you can use the compressed air to blow off the heavy debris, then uh, clean it with water and make sure that you can uh, visually see through the filter media when installing it. Make sure that you don't drop it in the tank. Install it in there and now we want to just go hand tight with this. So we're just going to screw it on until we can just get it snug and that's all we need to do. We talked about the filters we're going to check monthly. Uh, the one on the front underneath your chemical flow meter and then the Y strainer filter coming off your water inlet in the front. Go ahead and take a crescent wrench, break that loose. There is a wire mesh filter inside. Sometimes it will stay inside the housing, but go ahead and pull that out. It normally will just sit right in the metal cap. Take this out, blow this off with compressed air. Reinsert it. You'll notice there is a white compression gasket. Put that in and just snug firmly. Do not over tighten. At the end of the day, it's vitally important that we lubricate our vacuum blower. Uh, we're going to introduce a water displacement lubricant through our vac lube port. The unit must be running, so we'll have it on high. We need a load on the blower so you can leave your vacuum hose connected or put a uh, cap over the inlet. Make sure you leave it running for about a minute or two to dry that blower out. Then we're going to introduce about a 10 second up to a 10 second spray of the water displacement into the vac lube then let it run for about another minute to circulate through the vacuum blower and take off your vacuum line and turn your vacuum off.